hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel it's lena if you're new here hey if you're a return subscriber what's popping so i just finished getting dressed y'all getting ready for the airport i'm super excited but i ain't gonna lie i am very tired because i've been overdoing it for the past few days like last night i had an overnight shift i get off at 8 a.m this morning and i just been getting ready i've been trying to edit the video to post today but it's still not done i might have to post it tomorrow but that's another story for another day but i have to drive like 35 minutes to go to my best friend's house because she's taking me to the airport it is currently 10 30 and i'm flying to jfk if y'all know new york airport y'all know it new york airport is big and the line be crazy my flight is actually at 4 30 but they just delayed till five o'clock and i'm not willing to take an uber i could but I don't want to. My friends can drop me off. I'm very grateful for that. So I'm just going to go to the airport early, sit down there, edit, work on the video that I'm working on right now to post and wait for my flight at 530 now. So let's go. I just wanted to do the intro for this vloggy vlog, for this travel vlog, for this solo travel vlog. Okay, that's my alarm to get out of the house. <laughs> I had put an alarm so I have to go right now Wait, I need y'all to unplug unplug from down there the train to go get my rental car the train is actually coming right now yeah I got a Nissan car and when I tell you the color is bright the color is bright and that was the only car left so I'm about to pick it up I'm excited I will probably see you guys at the Airbnb but I just wanted to catch up catch you guys up so Yes, let's go. I'm excited, but I'm super tired. I am waiting to get some rest. That's that's what I'm looking forward to, to get some rest. It has been a really, really, really long day for me, y'all. Uh, it really has been a long day, but thank God I was traveling alone. Because if I was traveling with somebody, I'm not saying they would have pissed me off because of how everything was turning out around. But I would have get annoyed and I would probably would have gotten my feeling. But I had to check myself because first of all, my flight got delayed four times. It was raining. And when it come time for me to get the car, instead of going to the shuttle, I went on the sky train at the car rental, but it was a different place. It was a different car rental, but that was my mistake for not reading the email throughout. And I was supposed to get the shuttle for free. They were trying to make me pay $30 for it. Mind you, like I'm hungry, I'm hot, and I just, I'm so tired. I was just like, I'm not paying thirty dollar for no <laughs> no shuttle. I went on Uber. I found a Uber for like nineteen dollar, and he, the guy was just like, Oh, how much is the Uber? I'm like nineteen dollar. I sure to. He's like, Come, I'll take you for twenty five. I'm like, No, you are taking me for eighteen or oh, no? He's like, No. I'm like, Okay, I'll, I'll take my Uber, and I just I did just that. And when I got to the car rental place, it was only six minutes from the airport. It wasn't a really out. It wasn't a really long drive, but the drive from the airport to the Airbnb it was a little, it was a little, it was a little something. It wasn't like 25 minutes. It wasn't that bad, but it is currently 11.33. I literally just got here. I am hungry. I am tired. I, I ate at like three o'clock. I had Shake Shack for the first time ever. It was actually good. I had the Shake Shack double burger 
it was delicious actually like i've never had shake shack before i'm definitely gonna have it again but not too often but what else happened the the flight was really small it actually it wasn't small it was really bumpy because it was very cloudy it was raining but y'all yeah, i'm about to get ready actually should i give y'all airbnb tour right now i think i'm gonna give you guys a tour right now but i was gonna go out to grab something to eat because there's a mcdonald close by that's the only thing actually they have um chick-fil-a too but chick-fil-a is closed mcdonald is the only one open i don't want to go out i'm not getting dressed and go out <laughs> right now especially i'm by myself no so um i think i'm about to go grab something at my mcdonald real quick because i i don't have anything to drink here they don't have any water here so let me give you guys a quick airbnb tour and i'm about to head out to grab a water probably some french fries too and come back and shower and get some more because the girl is tired tired it's an understatement okay so that's the front door when you walk in when you walk in this is what you see you see the kitchen and on the right side you see the living room but let me show you all the kitchen it's kind of like it's cute it's very very simple nothing major i have a fridge but the fridge empty not even water y'all not even water but it's okay and you got the living room got a couch the chair tv and i like what they did with this they they gave you like restaurant um restaurant that's like close by bars that's very smart i like this and when you go in this room you have the laundry room slash sink slash bathroom i like this thing it's really nice it's different i like the clear thing and they have a nice lengthy mirror here yes and on that side is the bathroom stand up shower love this i like the marble and i like the shower um what do the, you call this um whatever this thing called i i can't remember on top of my head please i like that and i like the black thing they got going on the black and gray it's it's, it's nice it makes the place look very clean and i like how simple this room is it's not too crowded they keep it very straightforward and simple oh i didn't even see that this is nice the atlanta what is that the atlanta is the capital of the u.s state of georgia da, da, da. and they got the mercedes stadium i like this this is this is cute but i can tell this airbnb is for men though <laughs> And that's the bedroom. Very straightforward and simple. Got a TV though. I like that. And this is cute too. And we got the closet. But yeah, this is this is it to be honest. That's there's not much to show. I wish there was more, but there's not much to show for the moment. Um I'm about to get actually. I'm about to go to McDonald's to grab a bottle of water and some french fries and after that I'm gonna shower and get in bed. First thing first, not too much on my skin, just saying, but I want to say this video, it is not a makeup tutorial, I'm just doing a few facts about me so my audience can get to know me. First thing first, I am nervous about doing this voiceover to be honest with you. I just don't know something about voiceover just kind of like get me in a chokehold but i am getting passed through that facts number two is that my name is not lena it is not on my document at all it's not my middle name nothing my name is actually galen facts number three i was born and raised in haiti i moved here in the u.s when i was 15 but to turn 16 
facts number four i got bullied in high school which to be honest i'm still traumatized about that because i got bullied because of my accent that's probably one of the reason why i don't like really speaking to the camera like that but anyway facts number five i graduated high school when i was 20 about to turn 21 y'all yes because when i moved here to the u.s the only thing i knew how to say was hi how are you facts number six um i have a lot of brother and sister on my mom's side but i don't know any of them because i don't really know my mom i met her when i was 15 but since then i haven't seen her at first i didn't think much about growing up without my mom now at the age that i'm at it really have a big effect in my life not having my mom when i was growing up but that's something that i'm learning to move past to be honest it's not quite easy but i am doing it i am filming a reel for tiktok of me getting ready for this i did my makeup and everything but yeah the theme of the conference is tea party. Everybody has to wear pink or white. So I have this pink pants on from Fashion Nova. The tab is also from Fashion Nova. Y'all yeah. gotta help me with my shoes. Even though like by the time I post this, yeah, definitely, I'm definitely gonna be gone. But I don't know which shoes to wear. this Victoria's Secret bag. I've had this bag since 2019. Until I found another one that can place it, this baby coming everywhere with me. But it has this gold chain. Like you can see, I'm doing some gold. Something very light. I'm not doing too much with the accessory. Not that I do have a lot of accessory, like you know, by my other video. But yeah. Oops. With this outfit, y'all see the outfit. Yes, the fit. So I have these heels. It's very clear and it's not too high. But I have this one that I just purchased from Fashion Nova. I mean, both of them are no. This one is from Pretty Little Thing. This one is from Fashion Nova. I've had this man on the go. But I kind of want to wear this. But at the same time, my feet been hurting me a lot lately, and I don't want to wear this and then be complaining in my head. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I end up wearing the Fashion Nova heels. It's super comfortable. I thought it wasn't going to be that comfortable. I hope we're not doing too much standing around. Even though this have a good platform, it shouldn't be hurting me too much. But I'm going with that. It just makes more sense with the outfit and with this bag. So I have to go because I was trying to leave here at exactly 19. It's already 9.25. Even though the place is only 5 minutes, but I'm trying to find a close parking. So I'll probably, I probably won't bring my camera. I'll probably just vlog on my phone. So I will see you guys later. The lighting is so good, but I'm literally burning. But yeah, I just made it to the place. The line is so long. Look at all the beautiful ladies, all in pink. Uh, so pretty. So, I put my camera. I don't know if I'm going to use it inside. If not, I'm going to record on my phone. But I'm so excited to be here. Everybody looks so beautiful. Like, I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm ready. I'm ready. I come with an open home to receive. I hope I get a confirmation from God in this conference. So, yes, stay tuned, stay tuned, y'all. So fly through Christ. Hi.
coming to your city for to give a conference and stuff like that definitely go because when i tell you this was good beautiful intentional amazing this conference was everything that i needed for this journey for this journey that i'm on right now and but before you go i will say pray to god of course and god Ask God to reveal whatever you, whatever the season that you in. Ask God for, for certain, for revelation, and ask God for confirmation. He will give it to you. Like oh, when I tell you, I got so many confirmation and revelation through that conference. You can, you can feel that the Holy Spirit was in the room. You can feel that God was in there today. Ah. Oh. I am I am in awe because God is so intentional. So many things that I pray for, so many things that I I have talked to God and I got confirmation in that room today. It's just so amazing and God been showing me how intentional and amazing he is and I'm just here for it. I love it. And because of all the things that God is showing me. Of course, he know who I am. He know my heart desire and everything. But the thing that God has been revealing to me, he has really been giving me the opportunity to, he has been giving me the opportunity to trust him. He has been showing me because he know that I'm a visual person. Like he has been showing me certain things and that letting me to trust and lean and have faith in him even more like the the walk with god is not easy i'm not gonna be the one to tell you like it's all flowery and butterfly like no like yes it is amazing but it's not easy when you give your life to to god when you get baptized there will be attack there will be spiritual warfare there will be doubts there will be there will be so many things but is it worth it Oh my God, more than worthy, more than worthy. And I am so happy for myself in this season of my life that I decided to give my life to God again. And God has been opening doors for me. He has been showing me certain things. He has been giving me confirmation. And I, uh, I love him so much. I love him so much. I love... Mm. My God is so good, but I just wanted to catch y'all on, on today because he is good. He is good. He is good and intentional, and I love him. I love God. Do you love God? Do you love Jesus? Nah, seriously, do you love God? Do you love Jesus? Have you given your life to God? Because if you haven't, I'm here to, to be the one to tell you. Baby, go find out for yourself because he is good. He is the only one that you can lean on and trust and have faith on 100%. You cannot have faith and trust in human being for 100% because we will be the one to betray you, to stab you in the back. But God, no matter how bad you've been acting, no matter how many times you reject him, baby, he will take you with open arm whenever you go to him and that is uh, that only shows you how good he is like literally that shows you how good god is 
but anyway y'all i just wanted to tell you guys how i feel in this moment i am full of joy full of, i am overwhelmed with joy and love within myself like i i have peace right now i'm feeling this sense of peace within myself the six months like if you told me like two months ago or even like yeah two months ago that i would have feel the way that i'm feeling right now if you watch my past you video you know but the feeling the peace that i have in my heart right now it's so amazing and beautiful and i'm so happy and I, i'm gonna keep leaning and leaning on god keep trusting him learning to trust him more because i know if i'm just getting in the door right now imagine how good this is gonna get when i keep building on my relationship with god imagine how this is gonna grow beautifully that only just amazed me it blew my mind and that only is a reason to keep going because for the month of bs i've done in my life but he forgave me he loved me he says i'm worthy he chose me like <sighs> anyway <laughs> that's my little talky talk for the day <laughs> yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this video so far because so far i'm having a ball here in atl and the first thing i did was to go on a woman christian conference top tier i love this for me i really love this for me god put me in room with people that i would have never thought to be in room with today and it just it just amazed me my god is so good he just amazed me but anyway y'all i'm about to go and finish editing the vlog that i'm supposed to post tonight at 8 p.m and also i met a few girls and we're planning to go get dinner tonight so i have to go finish edit the vlog to see so i can have time to go in god because my mission is if i don't finish editing this vlog i'm not going anywhere that's on being disciplined and being consistent because yesterday my flight got delayed so many times i didn't get to finish editing my i mean i mostly finish it but to add music you know you have to look for it and everything and i didn't have wi-fi but today my mission is to post it and i will do just that and i hope you watch that video too have you watched it have you have you watched it come here have you watched it if you haven't watched it go watch it right now okay i love you i will see you guys later no matter does no matter Numero, numero A, A, A. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to hype myself up because I know in almost every vlog I keep saying I'm tired because a girl is really tired. But I'm about to go to dinner with two of the young lady that I met at the conference. Um, we're going to this restaurant called Five Church. I'm excited because the menu looks very good and I had a really good time talking to these young ladies so I'm excited to grab dinner with them that's the outfit I know a little bit short I know don't come for me okay do not come for me but anyway that's the outfit I'm thinking of wearing heels because I want to take a picture but at the same time my flats feels very comfortable. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I am trying to decide between these two bags, between this and that one, which one I should wear. This one is like a square little bag. It's kind of cute, but I'm like, mm, does it give with this outfit? Oh, should I do that one? It's like very chic and classy um it's very simple this is very simple too but it have gold it has gold so it will match like my earrings and my necklace but this one has silver so i kind of like this one better let me look at the mirror y'all hmm. i think i'm gonna go with this just for something different to be honest because i haven't used this in a minute and 
I think I'm gonna wear heels, black heels. Keep it casual, but yeah. Let's go to dinner, to Five Church. Oh, I also do, did a ponytail, like you can see, with the clip end. It's giving, it's giving. But yes, y'all. Let's go. To new beginnings, new friendships, godly relations, and just good times. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Cheers. Hey Pookies, how y'all doing? <laughs> Today is Sunday, July 14. Last day here in ATL. Last full day in ATL. Oh my god. I just realized I haven't taken any pictures at all, especially for my thumbnails. Why didn't I take any picture yesterday? Anyway, I'm going to have to figure something out. But it is currently 12.15, yeah. I decided to stay in bed a little bit longer today because the past few days I've been moving back to back to back. I plan to go to church this morning, but I woke up at 7. I did wake up early, but I was still very sleepy. I fell back asleep and I woke up at 10 30 ish or 11 around this time but i was just praying and i was just worshiping i'm like you know what it's okay even though i don't i didn't go to church i can still pray of course and worship that's what i have been doing but i have one thing planned so far for today i'm taking this seep and paint class at 3 p.m to 5 p.m and later tonight i have dinner I haven't put the reservation. I have to figure that out as well. I'm going out to dinner by myself tonight. I have to make sure I take a picture because this is this is not like me. Usually I'd be ready to take picture. I think it's because I forgot the little clicker thing to take picture. And the past few days, like whenever I'm moving, <coughs> I'm <coughs> damn, <coughs> I'd be in a rush. But I'm going to make sure I take a nice picture today. Yes. But, yeah, so far, that's all I have planned. But I also want to go to the belt line after my sip and paint class. Because it's 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. I'm not going to go to dinner till, like, probably 9 p.m. So I can be back home by 11. So I can, like, go to sleep and pack my stuff. Because I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I mean, tomorrow afternoon but i have to leave you by by 11 but yeah i just been trying to find like a brunch spot to go to why every place that i found i call they're all booked and you have to go wait but they don't tell you how long is the wait and i don't i i don't i, I i'm not feeling it waiting online I, i'm really not feeling it but at the same time i'm an atl that is ATL for you. <laughs> ATL is be, be booked and busy. Literally booked and busy. But so far, even though this trip might not seem very fun, but like I've had a lot of fun, especially yesterday morning with the um, conference and also yesterday evening. Like y'all can see, I went out to dinner with two of the girls that I met at the conference. It was so beautiful, so nice. I had such a good time with them. And we say that we're gonna keep on contact. So I'm really looking forward to see where these go with these two girls. No expectation, but I do enjoy their company. I do love talking to them, but whatever God have planned, it already has been done. So I'll just say that. That's the fit for today. I'm wearing this long, can y'all see? It's a very long skirt from Fashion Nova. And the top of the shoulder a little bit, it's like a peekaboo moment for the shoulder. It's also from Fashion Nova. I'm wearing this platform heels from platform sandals 
from i think i got this at tj maxx it's guess but yes and i'm also holding where's my bag my tiny little bag i, I found a restaurant to go to it's called where's my phone it is called grits and eggs breakfast kitchen so i'm really starving right now it's already one o'clock and the sip and paint class it's at 3 p.m and it's 26 minutes from here so i have to go so i can finish eating and drive down there so yes that's the outfit of the day very cute and simple i did a tiny little bit of makeup something light something light i didn't want to do too much i mean i don't be doing too much but i didn't do a full face if you know what i mean but yes let's go to the restaurant one thing about atl houston brunches for them it's literally like freaking concert or event or church whatever whatever you want to call it but how every place that I call or check, they're like 45 minutes to an hour, 45 minutes an hour, like, baby, I'm just trying to get some breakfast and get my day going. What do you mean 45 minutes? But that's kind of my fault because I, I known that they be booked and busy like that over here, but I completely forgot that. You have to make reservation prior before and if you don't have reservation you have to get up and go early to wait on line or whatever but I did wake up early today but I wanted to sleep because a girl was tired like I mentioned but I just went to a restaurant that I called earlier they say they do walk in and it wasn't too busy even though yes that was like an hour ago before I get ready and stuff like that it didn't even take me 30 minutes to get ready. I went there, y'all. Yeah. They're like, oh, 50, 50 minutes to an hour. You say, what now? <laughs> 50 minutes to an hour? No. I, I walk away real quick. I'm like, no, thank you. But um, the, one of the girl, her name is Aline, that I met at the conference yesterday, she she's at um what is it, what do you call that restaurant i forgot the name of the restaurant um cheesecake factory she's at cheesecake factory right now and she asked me if i want to join her so i'm gonna go to her right now and i also told her i was doing the sip and paint class um and she says she wants to join me if that's okay i'm not gonna say no uh, so uh, she's coming with me at 3 p.m. So I just need to get something to eat before I go to that class. Because if I don't, they're going to hear my stomach like growling and very loudly too. So she already ordered, but I'm going to just grab some something light to be honest. Because I'm not feeling lunch right now. Went to the restaurant to eat at cheesecake factory but when i got there i checked the address to see where the sip and pen class is at it's 30 minutes away and they say that you can't be no longer than five minute late 30 minutes and knowing in atlanta the traffic is crazy and i already paid for the class i don't want to miss it so it's two 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 look at that two 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 i haven't eat nothing at all and i am very very hungry <sighs> i don't want to cry <laughs> but it's my fault though i ain't gonna lie it's my fault because i'm i've been very indecisive about what i want to do that's something that i've been praying about as well like my indecisiveness take over sometimes because like i overthink things like i want things to be perfect i want them to i want things to be a certain way like my way but i also like i have to remember a lot of things i cannot control and i have to give myself time in between to work things out to work the things that i can't control like i woke up early yes i was in my secret place i'm praying and stuff like that but after prayer instead of like sitting scrolling looking for a restaurant i could have get ready first 
then find out where she's But no, I keep scrolling. I couldn't find out where she's That's when I realized, okay, Lena, just go get ready. I did that, but now, cause me still not be able to eat. Ugh, so annoying. But I'm at the hotel right now waiting for Elaine. She went to tell the front desk that she's going to extend her stays for a few hours because she's supposed to check out at four o'clock and the class end at five so i'm just waiting on her so we can head to the sip and paint class i'm probably gonna stop not probably i'm gonna make sure to stop at starbucks to get a coffee and a sandwich so i can call it a day am i holding traffic What's that? am i holding traffic yeah can you do me a favor just look back around look back all right thank you This car is behind me. Ooh, she coming. She coming. She's coming. She's coming. <laughs> Yesterday when we were at dinner, I mean I forgot my camera in the in the car. I mean I left it. I wanted you guys to say hi to my vlog. Hey, girl. I mean but, hey guys. What do you call your people? I I don't have a name yet because I'm still building my community up. I mean I still I have three kids, but you know. Mm -hmm. It's, it's growing yeah but you can say hi let okay, me find guys. you can hold the camera hold on ciao that's what i told y'all when i come back to miami i am not <laughs> coming outside <laughs> this thing in inside the side. inside where it's well not free because we gotta pay bills but yeah yeah that's for it Oh, but I do not regret anything because I'm having an amazing time. She's an amazing girl. She's so Aww. beautiful, and I just wish her the best. Thanks. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, y'all subscribe, y'all like, share. <laughs> My stomach started growling already. I was a Starbucks girl. You know I stopped. You stopped drinking some Why? I heard it's the the the, um, the, the symbol. Girl, not right now. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> You can get it because it's cool because you didn't know. So, but now I know. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> you will never, ever catch me inside of what, whatever the vortex bar and grill. This looks scary. Somebody walk in there. Yeah. You can't. You can't. I know I know he see you coming or she whoever's in that car. <laughs> I'm sorry, like But you'll never catch us in there cause baby the devil he alive. I just got some Starbucks and I got the impossible breakfast sandwich so I can eat real quick because I can go inside of that class hungry. Done. We're almost there. I'm excited. Hey. I'm my We stop at cinnamon, um, not the cinnaholic, <laughs> not the cinnamon. <laughs> we stop at cinnaholic. We got some treats. This is um, what is it? A strawberry. Oh, we should have got a that. strawberry something. And I, I know that I get the, I got the very berry. A strawberry shortbread. Yes, this one is a strawberry shortbread, and, and I got the berry, berry, a roll. very berry which we're gonna show you guys right yes now. we're about to show you we're about to show you <laughs> but yeah Ooh, 
this looks so delicious but yes but the amount of calorie that there is in this thing terrible like, it is crazy darling very crazy very very crazy so if you're watching your calorie count <laughs> this, this place is not for you sweetie I mean I am watching my calorie count but I'm I'm out I'm out of town so that don't count. Mm, this is good though. I know this one had the lowest calorie. That's oh. why I picked that one. That's what this? I picked. Yes. That's wow. this one is mine, right? Yeah, yes. the very berry. That's why I picked that one because the other one, the Oreo one, y'all see this? Yum delicious. <laughs> oh my guys. I'm about to oh how okay, how will you rate the painting class? We have to give them okay. a little review. The painting class is a ten out of ten. Everybody there was so nice. Um my painting could have been a little cuter, but I was too busy on my phone. Yeah. Distracted. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, I should definitely check out Painting Wilters if you haven't already. Yes, she's very cool, calm, and she helped us throughout the class. Eden is really amazing. And yeah, surprisingly, she said she have seen my YouTube channel, Little Old Me. She said she have watched one of my videos, like, girl, I'm all the way in ATL. All right, Eden, if you're watching this video, thank you. We had fun in your class. Keep doing your thing, baby girl. So, <laughs> we should give them a rating. Take a bite. Oh yeah. You see? She she's on it. She <laughs> I stay watching vlogs, so I know. She's how on it. Goes. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying my shit. Yeah, so I'm about to try mine and give you a rating. Damn, the amount of sugar is in this oh, thing. Let me not think about it. It's okay. not like we eat it every day. Yeah, it's like yeah. Do you have to cut it for me? Okay. No and I'll try yours, you I'll rate it and you try mine. You, you press the gas? No. Oh, that was somebody else. Just a little, just a little piece, piece, piece. got knives. Yeah. I mean, they just handed us the bag. Oh, look at my painting on the back. Behind that, being that girl. My painting is that girl. Thanks. Get mine out. Okay. Mm. Mm. Ready? Cheers. One. Two, two, three. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. wow. I'll definitely rate mine. Oh, eight out of ten. Right I wish. Out of 10. This is good. 8 out of 10. I wish it was warmer. If it was warmer, I feel like it would have hit the cinnamon roll. The syrup on top of it is warm, but the cinnamon roll should yeah. be a little warmer. Yeah, I don't know what good. you're talking about, but mine is perfect. Mine is like 8 out of 10. The, mine of, is a 10. Uh, maybe I'm just greedy. Look! This is good. I keep thing falling on my, on my boob. And I don't, yeah, I don't even like cinnamon rolls. Honestly, I don't. I love me some cinnamon But rolls. this right here... No, it's good. I'm not. It, it is good. This is Stop different. it. This is it is good. Let me try yours. Cut me up, please. Let me try yours. Oh, oh yeah. Let me give this out. Oh yeah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so. I, you, I can't <laughs> with you. I cannot. I forgot to tell y'all. She's Haitian as well. Straight she, soul from the she's my, mm -hmm. she's my Haitian sister. <laughs> try mine. Try mine. Okay. Those are like French toast. Mm -hmm. What do you think of mine? Hold that down. Wait a second. I like yours. I like mine too. It's good. <laughs> I like yours better. You see what I'm saying? If mine was a little bit warmer, mm -hmm. yours is good. That's good too. They're both Maybe good. It's big, but it's good. <laughs> it's really good. Yes. If you ever an ATL, try mm -hmm. Cineholic. It's uh, um, where is it located? I don't know. You have to Google it. But it's called Cineholic. It's yummy. All right, guys. This is the outfit for today. We got this beautiful dress with a bunch of flower leaf patterns, and we got we 
get this beautiful pink kind of like ombre with orange bag from Aldo. The dress is from Fashion Nova and I am wearing my clear black sandals from Pretty Little Thing. I am going to this restaurant called, hold on, yes. Highness Cuisine. The name of the restaurant is Highness Cuisine. That's where I'm going. It closes at midnight. It is currently 10, 13. The reason why I'm going so late is because I was very indecisive of if I want to go or not. But I am hungry. Like you can see by the vlog today, I barely ate. But I'm about to have a really late dinner. So I will see you guys in a few. And the makeup... Just a little something light. Y'all know I still have to learn how to do my makeup, but just a light, a light, a light little bit. It's kind of, uh, it kind of goes with the outfit. Not too much, not too little. If I knew how to beat up my face, I would have, but for now, that will do. I love my outfit. I love the little split moment. Oh, uh, yeah. And the bag. Ooh, yeah, get into it. trip has come to an end i'm not sad about it i ain't gonna lie i'm not sad about it i'm happy i'm happy the fact that i was able to do this for myself i'm happy the fact that i've met so many beautiful people here in atl even though i was by myself at first i was a tiny little bit anxious but i had such an amazing time for my first time ever traveling by myself that was that was top tier i ain't gonna lie that was top tier and this is all glory to god i have to give it to him i have to be real with myself so i just want to say like i really enjoy doing this but the only thing i have to do for my next time traveling by myself is to prepare a itinerary is that how you say it y'all know what i'm trying to talk about but yeah to prepare an itinerary because i feel like i wasted a lot of time on looking for things to do when i could have fully prepared for that and advance which is my fault it's the first time i'm gonna give myself some grace but this is one of the take i wanted to say right now i kind of like i have to hurry up because the people are already here to clean the airbnb and they're not kicking me out but i have to go i don't want to be in nobody's way they already texted me but that's one thing i wanted to highlight like if you're traveling by yourself especially if it's for the first time take your time like a few days before you go write down on your note find stuff on tiktok to do put them on your note and just like arrange them so you don't like waste a lot of time searching for things to do this was a mistake that i made i mean it wasn't a mistake it was just like uh, let's say it was a lesson but yeah but beside of that like i would say don't be scared to travel by yourself guys because traveling by yourself is fun you meet new people you by yourself when you by yourself people tend to like come and talk to you um just be like open to talk to stranger because i feel like you will get that a lot that was like a really good experience for my first time i really enjoy it and i'm really looking forward to do more things like that oh and also last night dinner oh my god the space was very empty i actually really like that it wasn't like crowded it was just like literally everybody that was there there was like four couple there i mean they probably were on date but yeah, I was the only female that was just sitting there by herself. And then there was like two other guys at the bar, but they looked like they were friends. They were together. But the food was so good. I had this right rice with stew curry chicken. I just had the rest this morning right now because it was so much. I wasn't able to eat all that by myself and it was very late at night too. So I bought the rest at the Airbnb. I just had that for breakfast.
it was so good i wasn't gonna throw that out and that was like almost 30 dollars mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. but yes i love dressing up going out to dinner by myself that was a really fun and nice experience I'm looking forward to start doing that in New York because when I was in Houston, I used to do that a lot and I stopped doing that over the years since when I got with my boyfriend, with my ex, to be honest. But I'm really going to try to do that again because it teaches you a lot of things. Um, it teaches you a lot of things about yourself. You learn things and you meet people. Like when you speak to people, like it's not a coincidence. It's everything that happened in life is for a reason. And God is very intentional about the people that cross your path. Like even if you don't know it at the moment, if you, even if you don't see it at the present moment, like eventually you will, you will be like, oh my God, I had this conversation with this person. Right now I'm in this moment. Like you can use what that person person like touch you in that moment or like a word of confirmation or whatever that person say to you that moment like it can brings back that memory and it can spark something and it can help you growth and prolong your journey if you know what i mean but yes this was definitely a 10 out of 10 and i am really looking forward to the things like this but anyway i have to go I am wearing my She Will Believe shirt, Luke 1 verse 45. They gave it to us at the conference. So this is my outfit for the airport. Just the She Will Believe shirt and black leggings. And I'm wearing this sneaker. It doesn't match much. It doesn't match much, but this is what I have. And that's what I'm wearing. But yes, this was a success more travel vlog coming soon let's pray to god let's pray to god for that i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoy this vlog i know i did not do too much but to me this trip was fun that's all that matter <laughs> to be honest but i hope like if you see this video i hope that spoke you to take a uh, solo trip by yourself even if it's in your hometown like some somewhere like an hour or two away from your hometown for a day or two i hope that sparks some things on you and you to do this by yourself because baby girl baby boy you can do everything and anything by yourself but don't forget to include god don't forget to pray before you go don't forget to set a good intention before you go ask god and you shall receive <laughs> but i wanted to say thank you for watching this video don't forget to <clears throat> why my voice trying to run away from me but anyway don't forget to like this video like this video comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye